Alright, welcome to the stream, thank you for Cricket tuning in. Oh, it's got a slight headache happening, but I'm fine. Today just, this particular stream today just so happens to be my 400th. Not that that probably matters, but I think it's something worth celebrating. And I was meaning to stream a little earlier, but then... OBS Studio was like, I want to update, <laughs> and so it did. And then I had to update Stream Elements OBS Live on top of that. And anyway, now that it's all checked out, it's working just fine. Uh, for tonight's stream, just gonna do a little bit of running around in Animal Crossing New Horizons. A new update dropped yesterday, but it doesn't it doesn't come into full effect until October. So maybe so maybe on tomorrow's stream I might play a little more New Horizons and check out check out some things on that, but I haven't bothered to lock to hop onto New Horizons today, so I might as well do my stuff uh tonight and get that over with and then uh and then after that I'm going to start a playthrough on uh Star Ocean First Departure R. Which was a game that uh, one of my reg regular viewers, Reno, suggested I pick up at some point, and I did, because it was, I'm not sure it still is on sale, but it was on sale, so I picked it up, and I've been playing a bit of it off stream, and I'm enjoying it. I'm like, I'm liking, I'm liking the feel of it. It feels a lot more enjoyable than than the than what Dragon Quest XI is uh, looking like. So I'm gonna, yeah, so I've decided to put uh, put Dragon Quest XI on hold for a bit, and I'm gonna start playing some Star Ocean First Departure. I think another reason why I'm, I'm I'm liking the Star Ocean is because it's been a very long time since I've actually played Star Ocean. So I did play the original Super NES version with a fan translation, which I did show off a couple of streams ago. And yeah, I guess that's just what makes me want to get get into Star Ocean at the moment because it just fe it just feels it feels good. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. All right, let's get that. 
Let's get that happening. Uh, again, I, yeah, I haven't been on this at all today. Spent the day going out and getting a haircut and trying to track down a universal remote control so I can use the various features of the open source scan converter. Sadly, the one I found at a thrift store doesn't seem to work, so... Good morning, everyone. Right now on Pokeball, it's 9.45. Wednesday. I'll just double check something here. Cool. <clears throat> I'll play around with the stream settings in the future. Anyway. We've got 15 minutes. <laughs> Denver is on its way out, so our days are going, are going to be on the brisk side soon. It's time to switch over to those fall wardrobes, right? Unless she didn't prattle on about her TV habits. There we go. Oh, there's a fossil right in my bloody front yard. Oh, I see Wisp behind there. Go say hi to him. Or dig a hole as we tried to talk to him. He actually could, but yeah. Touch this side of my island, so I'll just take a quick look. See, all right, I have this to learn. Ago, so there's flowers that shouldn't be around. Oh, there's some jocks. Oh, something classic. Oh, there's something from Nintendo. They're downloading the update. I think I already have the blue one. I have a blue and a green one. Oh well. What did Nintendo give us? A ring con. Nice. Yeah, that's going in storage. <clears throat> Nice if it was Halloween themed, though. Oh, oh, that, 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 ouch, <laughs> that buzzing. That's actually something I'll, I'm going to check right now. Let's see here. Why the why the buzzing is coming in? It's because I've got the volume of the capture card 
uh, on full blast. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not seeing any options in here unless I select, say, configure video, but that might cause a hiccup. <laughs> Hang on. I just said cancel. Oh, there we go. Um, curious to where I'm supposed to do that. Maybe I am supposed to do that. Let's, let's look at it. First we're going to drive that, and then I'm going to change my monitor real quick so I can get the, uh, so I get the feed here. I have to switch it back to my computer so that way I can drag the game capture HD window that decided to pop up on my second monitor like it's not freaking supposed to. Switch back over and pray that it doesn't screw up the for the sound. Okay, good. Let's put it to eighty. There. I'll keep that minimized for now. What was that? Now if I'm switching my monitor over. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> Every time I switch my monitor over to a different input, it screws up my entire goddamn computer. I love it. Even though I tell the computer that my left monitor, I have two monitors. The left monitor is supposed to be the primary, while the where where my whereas my 1080p curved fancy monitor is supposed to be the secondary. But every time I switch the the input mode, it keeps throwing the taskbar and the windows over to the other monitor, not the monitor that I want them on. that to 80 and that way I can actually just actually I'd probably put <laughs> yeah it's too loud right now that's probably actually an idea right there let's put the game to 60 50 sure It's still loud in there. I have to turn it down even further. Give me a 
sec here. Oh well. Sorry about that noise in the back just now. Just trying to get my volume levels proper. So that way I can still hear the game volume without having to turn up my headphones. Yeah, maybe that'll do it. And there's Jocks. He's chilling and drinking a Soda, I guess. Oh, it's a nice full moon tonight. Well, actually, no, not quite yet. Yeah. Tomorrow will be full moon. Stinky weeds. Ew, horseshoes. I got two on the other side of the, on the other side of the island now. Jesus, four fossils now. Lately I've been finding six. I wonder why, they, why that happened. Let's drag it up to. Everything tastes great. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good sign. Jeez, I hope that's a breeded uh, purple. So that puts me one step closer to getting a blue rose. Hazel tried to catch something. Oh, we got two minutes left for no scranny to close, so might as well stop in. What do you got today, boys? A loft bed with desk. Yeah, hook me up. A bidet and a chest set. I already got those. Don't need anything else. Be good. fancy little suit there. Cool. 
keep that in mind. Yeah, so I wonder if that is a breed of purple. So that's what I need. <coughs> Checking out the Krikatoon sign. French toast. God, I haven't had French toast in a while. I actually forget what French toast is. <laughs> No, I'm not even kidding. Pretty sure it's supposed to be like toast, but with uh, egg on it. That does not help. I want the Wikipedia article. There we go. Sliced bread soaked in eggs, typically milk, and then pan fried. Okay, yeah. If it's ever served as a sweet dish, milk, sugar, vanilla, or cinnamon are commonly added. And as a savory dish, it usually has a pinch of salt or pepper. It can be served with a sauce such as ketchup or mayonnaise. Inter interesting. I always saw it as just some fancy breakfast. Like if you don't feel like making pancakes or waffles, then French toast was like the next tier. <laughs> Oh, Sprinkle's thinking about something. Uh, she wants to catch a suckerfish. Well, we could probably get you a suckerfish. Like how they smile when you walk away. Bell's here. I don't really bother with her. <laughs> Unless we got anything else more worthwhile out of uh, out of doing her fashion checks. Uncle already had a birthday. This is done and over with now. I got the silver trophy from that. There's no. <laughs> While wearing them stashing glasses. I still need to catch that one dive diving uh, sea creature. Might do a little bit of that. Keep an eye out for for any thin shadows. Since Sprinkle wants a suckerfish. Oh, there we go. There's one. Mmm. Almost missed that one. Oh, that's that. That's not a suckerfish. I wonder, I wonder if she'll take it. Water leaf. I would bother to catch them if they were actually worth money. Oh, so the World War Wisp... Wisp, uh, Spirit. Oh, 
Thelma's crafting. A bamboo candle holder. This is something I don't have. Something I'll never make, but it's something I don't have. The only thing I'll do is do some tree shaking because there's a there was a fall DIY recipe that I would like to make. Oh, that looks nice. Why does it require three bamboo pieces when it clearly has one? Yeah, this is this is what I want to make. I want to get some a couple more acorns and get uh, this tree's bounty lamp because it looks cool. Get some more pine cones so we can make this bonsai. Oh, lost item. Who's missing this? Not the remote. Let's see if it's his. At least he'll tell us where he might be. It's his. Well, there we go. Gave us some mariachi clothing. <laughs> that's that's a uh, that's a nice thank you. <laughs> so I got the inventory a little bit. Fossils I need. <clears throat> and we will probably go back to diving. <laughs> ah, says fossils. Oh, we good. Yeah, why am I feeling so tired right now? Maybe I should really should have done a stream yesterday, but not do a stream tonight. But, oh well. Too late. We're streaming now. Deal with it. Alright, we'll get all this soul. Actually, let's give that to someone. Yeah, we just bought that loft bed. I need to deposit all this money. Let me check this in a while. Nice. Some tatami. Tatami. Ah, ADB, ABD, DBD. Look at the Nook Mile thing. Oh no, not this one. The other one. Where you don't use Nook Miles. Oh, I don't know why that's so bright. At least I think. No, it didn't save. Okay, never mind. Hmm. 
last day to get this. Or no, wait. No, that's... Oh, no, that's uh, December. December 8th. But it is the last day to get this. Which I already got that, so we're good. <clears throat> just give me a sec, just gonna double check something. In the back. Sell this tatami. I want to give someone this in laser. I don't know who's gonna get it. Just think of one of the guys. Let's go to Drago. Give him something fancy to wear. Oh, don't he look smart? There, yeah, now, now, now he looks like he's studying. Like, properly studying. <clears throat> Deliver these spirits to Wisp. And we'll figure out our flower situation. Also, still gonna catch a. Oh, what was it again? A sucker fish. We also haven't talked to June yet. There you go. Oh boy, some wallpaper. Hey, give me something new. I don't buy wallpaper all that often. A rammed earth wall. What's that look like? Oh, okay. Just makes it look like we're we're in a we're underground. <laughs> Looking at a cross section. Let's go see what June's up to. So, since we've. Well, no, I haven't talked to Elvis yet.
<laughs> I don't gotta worry. She don't gotta worry. Don't think that no, that's just a big fish. Which I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch anyway. Jeez, that's a funny looking fish. I'm gonna do some fish catching. I'm gonna switch my headphones. <laughs> Anything he wears looks like a napkin after a while. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what I mentioned earlier about switching my headphones, I I switched my headphones to the input to to the monitor that I'm playing this on because I don't trust the sound that uh, comes through OBS to uh, play on the desktop for for the stream. Alright. So now we're going to figure out our flowers. Because I'm trying to follow the backwards end method of trying to get a blue rose. This is a breeded purple. So we're gonna dig up these two, relocate these ones. take this breeded orange that I made like months ago there and as soon as this grows then I'll start watering them and pray that they give me give me oranges at the least so then with two seeded oranges from this pairing or breeded oranges from this pairing, I then have to get two breeded reds. And then with those breeded reds, it's a 25% chance to get the breeded, to get a blue rose. Alternatively, these can also give uh, red roses, but then it's a 1.6% chance. And then we will put these guys down here, <laughs> in case that purple is not the one we're looking for. Keep looking for that fish that uh, Sprinkle wants. Oh, 
Ooh, there's a big fish on the docks. That's a really big fish, too. Mmm! Thought it bit. It when it takes too long to do that second bite, because that what screws me up. Let's go see the other side of the beach, or the other side of the island. I mean. fish. It's not a sucker fish, though. Need sucker fish. Watch, I don't catch a single sucker fish tonight. <clears throat> Elvises. Hmm. Maybe he's in the museum.
Ooh, there's a long boy. Some more, eh? And I haven't heard any presents yet. Second, refresh the Elgato for a quick, quick second. Yeah, that's a little better. And bugs that are caught. So now there's still one more. Yeah, there's an oyster that I need to catch. Which, of course, I have until February to get it, but. Might as well get it now. Miss Honka, I haven't talked to her yet. See if I can customize the loft bed. What we got? <clears throat> Boy, that's a difference. Oh wow, that's, that's all you can. That's all you can modify. Just the color of the bed and the clock and the pen. <laughs> you need a new custom moves on.
wall here. We have our shovel and fishing line uh, repair. Let's go yellow. Big fish in the river. Nice. It's the big boy, the Arapaima. thinking about something. Got into a big argument with Velma. Nonsense. She's in her house. Thank you. 
bomber style jacket. that big fish again. Except this time we'll catch it. As soon as it sees the line. Still catch these fellas. Oh, now they're bow fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> That butterfly is worth money, but I don't feel like catching it. Oh, there we go. There's a fin shadow. Still not a sucker fish, though. Hmm. Sucker fish is proving to be a very difficult fish to catch. That or the game just feels that it needs to send me more. Or let me have the bigger sharks. No, you don't, Mr. Mosquito. I hear you. There'll be none of that. That does not have a fin on it. that one regret regrettably. Nor does that one.
I didn't even see that Goliath beetle. <laughs> Tot. That's not a very good nickname. I want you to call me what you've already been calling me. And if you haven't been calling me that, then start calling me. You got it. It's much better than Tater Tot. Especially when I'm taller than you to begin with. Alright, I think it's time we start looking for the oyster that I'm missing. Gonna sell these uh, this shark and marlin. go in any old body of water for I just remember that we have a dock right over here yeah it's the only way to enter the water For a short, small shadow that's slow moving. That's not it. That's a sweet shrimp. It's a mantis shrimp.
pues. No, it's not moving. Pockets are going to be full of shrimp at this rate. Oh, this is a large shadow. Gazami crab. that move are the ones that are actually worth getting. That one's big. I'll take it anyway. It's a horseshoe. Sheriff, thank you for the congrats there, and also thank you for cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Ooh, is that my oyster? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. There, now we can get that donated to Blathers. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Now I kind of want to get a scallop so that way we can run into Pascal. Oh, there's another oyster. Yeah. Uh, the, the, that update actually dropped uh, yesterday, but it doesn't come into effect until October 1st. Yeah, so we, we, can't, we can't grow the pumpkins just yet. <laughs> unless, you, uh, unless you time travel, then you, then you can do, the, do it whenever you, whenever you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It would be nice to... Grow something other than fruit for a change. And the pumpkins are needed to craft the whatever. Ooh, tiger prawn. Some catch up yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you ever need uh, bells or items, Sheriff, you're more than welcome to hit me up on Discord and I can send you something. Or visit your island and give you some stuff. Let's 
pretty slow moving. Yeah, no problem. That's a fast move one. Oh, no, that's just another horseshoe crab. Oh, jeez, where's the scallop? I want to get a scallop. Oh, that's a gazami crab. Slate pencil urchin. As far as my pockets haven't filled up yet. Another octopus. Ah, oh, there we go. Now my pockets filled up. Well, I don't need another octopus. Jellyfish. Don't need that though. Now, did I see a present? Shoot, there's a present. What's uh, Hazel thinking about? <laughs> yeah, sure. I already have a detective's coat, but... But I will happily swap anyway. present. A vacuum cleaner. Nice. Alright. Let's clean up this inventory. Actually, what does this vacuum cleaner look like? I think I already have a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I don't like that one.
Now I'll go donate this oyster to Blathers. This is what I'm missing. some sweet oyster facts. Social butterflies to the sea. Oh yeah, because they live in groups. We're good. There, that's now donated. Now I won't. Now, based on my list, I won't have anything new to caught cat catch until next month, which there'll be uh, two uh, two uh, deep sea creatures. The spiny lobster and the Venus Val Venus's flower basket. And then in November there'll be a couple of bugs and some more fish. Some more underwater fish. Alright, what do I want to do now? Ah, I still got some time. <coughs> See if we can get that uh that scallop. So I want I want to see Pascal. Oh, it's eleven o'clock. Not moving. <laughs> Jellyfish. slug. <laughs> now I just remembered I was going to shake some trees so I need because I want to get some acorns. Jeez, where's, where's the scallops? I want to catch a scallop. I need, I need my truth. My deep truths for the day. Shouldn't have dived or dove, I mean.
Oh, that one's taken off. Oh, Naturalus. Turban cell. Turban shell, I mean. <laughs> Where are the scallops? There's a present. Oh, this one's a little quickly. Oh, mantis shrimp. Oh good, it's touching land. A raincoat. Oh, a nice yellow one too. The other one would be nice too. There's another oyster. Jeez, I'm not having much luck getting a scallop. Oh, this one's moving real quick. 
This might be an isopod. Nope. It's a gigas giant clam. That's also good. that scallop. There it is. I can't carry anything else. Uh oh. Dang. And thanks to that, Pascal didn't show up. So I'm going to empty up my inventory. Finally get the scallop, but Pascal didn't show up. What's my time at? Eh, probably try to keep going. At least until I can get Pascal to show up. Which means I have to catch another scallop. Matchless.
There's Dark Hope. <laughs> is a scallop. That triggers Pascal to show up. Not scallop that fills up my inventory. <laughs> took off. <laughs> there we go. There's Pascal. Roosters go back to sleep after they wake everyone up? I mean, they're pretty much done for the day. That, 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 that is a, a head scratcher. There, that's all I wanted to do. Because <laughs> when you think about it, who, who wakes up to roosters nowadays? I think even farmers would use alarm clocks at this point. <laughs> so he can legally go anywhere. That makes sense. Oh nice, he gave me a pearl for that. Alright, let's get off that uh, wetsuit. My socks and shoes back on. Up the inventory, and then we're gonna shake a couple of trees so we can get some acorns so I can make one of the trees bounty furniture items. And then after that, I'll probably move on to uh, Star Ocean. Yeah, I already have the detective's coat. I don't need another one. Complete one of these. Okay, that, that's for filling out the Critterpedia. Oyster. <laughs> yeah, still got a fair number of these to catch, but they won't show up until October, and then there's some that are, won't show up until November and December. 
dark cloak didn't say anything. So yeah, we're going to aim to make this thing. We need six acorns. And those come from the regular trees. Or the fruit trees, to be more specific. Ooh, nice furniture. Climbing wall. Nice. So what we do we just shake the tree? <laughs> it's best to shake it from behind so that way it drops all the items drop in front of the tree. Maybe to the side in this case. Ah, there we go. There's our acorn. We need six of those. Ah, oh, hey, Smokey. Thanks for cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Aren't you still streaming? <laughs> you said you would and you did. Oh, awesome. Uh, did it. I don't see it on my end. Don't tell me you misspelled my name again, did you? <laughs> Every time. You didn't? Oh, okay. Then, uh, um, the alert did come up. Oh, I don't see it on my end, though. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, no, he did. Yeah, okay, there, I see. It just, it just didn't show up on OBS for me. Or on my overlay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 been happening to me too. Me too, because I've done a couple of raids to some people, and they and it wouldn't show up on my end. I suspected it was because I was only sending like two or three people, so it didn't matter. But uh, but yeah. Well, in in that case, thank you very much for the raid, Smokey. Greatly appreciate it. Were you able to beat? Were you able to beat uh, Mega Man X2, or or only got halfway? Uh, we're looking for trees. Not that tree, because it's surrounded by flowers. I'm doing alright. Had a bit of a headache, still kind of do, but... But I'm surviving. Right now I'm just shaking trees here to get some acorns so I can craft an item. Oh, all right. Yeah, I've played Mega Man X2 on my stream uh, probably a good couple months ago, actually. I played it on the uh, Mega Man X Legacy Collection version. You know, compare it from X to X3. Uh, some slight improvements to X in comparison to X, for sure. Though I think I think the music takes a teensy bit of a hint, hit hit because the music in uh, Mega Man X is pretty good, but in X2 it kind it kind of feels like a little flat. Like there, there's some good there's some good songs in it. They just don't feel as feel that they have as much substance to them compared to. Uh, the songs in Mega Man X, and then for Mega Man X three, I think the 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 music took even worse hit there because there really isn't any memorable tracks in that one, and uh, but the gameplay was definitely improved a bit. Oh yeah, the level the level details are awesome in X two and X three for sure. I think that's one other thing that the sequels have over X, but yeah. X definitely has the better uh, music in comparison to the other two. Mm. Yeah, I, f I find some of the levels in X2 and X3 to be a little bigger, which allows for the 
for the extra things to do, as you put it. <laughs> oh, come on, where's the acorn? Takes a good number of shakes to get these acorns. Across New Horizons for the Switch. It just got a, a an update for October, which doesn't come into effect until October, but it dropped yesterday night. And it's supposed to add uh, Halloween and uh, some Halloween themed DIYs and the ability to grow pumpkins in order to craft some of those uh, uh, items. Uh, that won't that won't come into effect until another forty something minutes for me. <laughs> but even then, I'll probably just I'll probably just put it off until uh, tomorrow's stream if I decide to. <laughs> and I want it now. Well, some some people some people have already time traveled as in change the clock on their switch to go to October so they can get a head start on that sort of thing. I don't time travel though. I, 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 I do consider that a form of cheating. And it's debatable as to how uh, how one would see it as cheating or anything. Time <laughs> <And> travels. <laughs> yeah, you gotta gotta believe those movies. When this game hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Oh, there's a bagworm. You can catch him, or try to. Hey, wizard! Thanks for cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Fauna migration vegetation. <laughs> clever. Oh, I hear a present. At least I think I hear a present. Yeah, it's right there. Or no. Nope, it's right behind the house. Covering from helping your family move? Ah. Uh, Wait for it to come down here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shot too far. There we go. What are we getting this present? A street organ. Oh, that thing, except it's a different color than the one that I have. keep it. Alright, I need my net back out again. Alrighty, Smokey, thanks again for the raid. You have a good night. I need to find more trees. <laughs> there we go, there's another tree. And then I did the foolish thing and just immediately started shaking. Oh, there we go. Need them acorns. I need two more acorns so I can make something. surrounded by fl flowers it won't uh, well it will drop things but the items will disappear ah there we go 
There's our fifth acorn. And a whole lot of sticks. So can I, ah, I'll shake this tree instead. that acorn. six acorns. Now I need to get rid of all these sticks. <laughs> I could probably craft something out of them though. Oh, I hear another present. It's right there. Oh, what are we getting this one? Fan palm. Oh, okay. Household plant. There, now that we have six acorns, I can make this fancy thing. Well, maybe I'll make some stuff out of my sticks. If I could bother to get more acorns and pine cones, I could make this. <laughs> no, I already made a couple. Let's just require hardwood. Tree branch, tree branch reef. One of those fences could be made out of tree branches. No, I'll just do that. I'll just craft a whole bunch of these. Those lines too.
just realized that tree's bounty lamp I made is customizable. Red nuts or white nuts? <laughs> yeah, I like the I like the red. And I'll just empty the inventory through here. No, no. Keep the street organ. Keep the fan palm. Can't can't fire. And I made a whole whopping eight eight hundred bells from that. <clears throat> All right, what's my time? Oh, okay, that's not, that's perfect. And I think that will be enough of Animal Crossing for tonight. Stream's not gonna end though, because I want to play another game. So save and quit out of this first. We'll continue on the stream with. Uh, with a starting playthrough of uh, Star Ocean First Departure R, which was uh, recommended to me by uh, one of my regular viewers, Reno. And I've been playing a little bit of it off stream, and it, uh, it, it looks like a nice classic JRPG. I, used to, I played the Super NES version with fan translation years ago, beat it through that. Close out of that, and that's what we're going to. That's what I'm going to play next. Just let me uh, give me some time to change the, the stream title. Oh, no, I don't have to change the stream title. I just have to change the category. Star Ocean? Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of into Star Ocean myself, but I haven't played any of the other Star Ocean games because they were released on systems that I don't own. <laughs> oh, is there, a, is there a, not a category on Twitch for this game? Nope, just the first one. <laughs> it doesn't have box art. And it has one person playing it with three viewers, and there's only 665 followers for it. I think I'll play it in the retro category, because it, it, it is technically... Well, this remake isn't a retro version, but the game it re, it's remade from is definitely a retro game. <coughs> I'll do that. All right, that's updated appropriately. Just had to switch the uh, switch the category. All right, there we go. All right, let's get this started then. It starts with an anime cutscene, so we get to watch that. Good old Cryware. Where would we be without him?
What you're hearing there is the original uh, title song for Star Ocean. So yeah, so, so a little bit of a trivia about this. Uh, the Super NES version was, was well, it, I don't think it was going to release in North America, but uh, it was never released outside of Japan due to uh, Enix closing its American branch shortly after Star Ocean was finished. But it, this game, but this game was released on the PlayStation Portable under the title Star Ocean: First Departure, back in October 2008. <clears throat> I don't know why it replayed that. <coughs> and then a remastered version of it showed up on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 in uh, 2019, which is what we're playing right now. And this is literally this. So this is literally a remaster of a remake of a Super NES game. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> you can't really play JRPGs anymore? Oh, that's understandable. Oh no, I don't want to continue. We want to do a whole new game. Even ones you used to like to put you to sleep? Oh, that's also understandable. <laughs> Also, Hen Henry Internet Trash, thanks for cricket tuning in, I appreciate it. Nino Kuni's a series I might want to try out in, at some point. But yeah, at starting, we get to either use the PlayStation Portable Portraits or the, or the R Portraits that are unique to this particular version. I'm going to stick with those. And then we can choose the, the Japanese voiceovers or the English voiceovers which I've heard they're actually pretty terrible but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll probably stick with the English for now we can we can change these settings as we go through the game and then here we get to give a name to the this guy <coughs> in the Super NES fan translation he was named uh, Ratix but here he, he's been renamed to Rodic so we'll stick with that. And now the opening cutscene. Planet ESA confirmed. Departing high density space at 1203. Set the coordinates to T50321. Roger. Putting ESA on screen. Something's wrong with the gravitational readings. There's a giant energy wave approaching us, sir, at high speed. The magnitude is 40.3 quadrillion joules, sir. Turn the ship about. Fire thrusters. Full power right away. And give me some warp coordinates. Look alive, people. Three, two, one. Here it comes. Activate anti-shock. Raise defense shields. SD-346, an unknown power threatens to hurl us into a new age of civilization. Is it the will of the gods, or just the whimsy of fate? Whatever it is, the human race continues to advance into the great unknown, into what they called the Star Ocean. No, that was just, that, that, that planet's irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that name drop. It, it, it drops later on in the game, too. <laughs> mm. 
there's the mandatory pink-haired female protagonist. Man, I'm bored. Hey, that's a good thing. It means all's well. What about Millie? What do you really think about her anyway? Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, let me give you a friendly warning. That girl's a total scatterbrain. She doesn't listen to anyone. <gasps> She's right behind you. Uh, Millie! Mm, listen, I, uh, meant... <laughs> you jerk! Yeah. If you've got time to complain about me, you've got time to work! There's nothing to do around here, Millie. Why don't you go out on a patrol, then? Come on, I'll join you. We can all do it yeah. together! All right. Roddick, you come with us, too! It's settled, then! We'll all go together! Yeah, we didn't have any say. Yeah, now the game starts a little bit. Got control. As you can see, they maintained uh, some kind of classicness to it. Sprites are all pixelated, and it's pre-rendered backgrounds, kind of, kind of like uh, Final Fantasy VII. I remember it doing pre-rendered backgrounds. <coughs> Please blow up this planet. Too. Oh, don't worry. This this planet actually suffers an unfortunate mishap as we uh, progress through the game. But yeah, if you're curious about the characters, they are they are a race of uh, called the Felpool, which are kind of humanoid, but they have uh, cat tails. So yeah, we just spend the first bit just exploring. She has special special sparkle magic. Saiyans, but worse. <laughs> no, Saiyans were monkeys, though. Felpool are just like watered down cats or something like that. And thankfully, Akira Toriyama has, does not touch this game at all, so you do not have to worry about that sort of thing. <clears throat> She's not talented at all. I will cheer her up. You're right, thanks, Millie. <laughs> yeah, we can't buy anything here. Monkey cat. Yes, I agree. I want to talk to the lady. There we go. Fresh shipment of vegetables. So make sure you tell your mother. Got any blackberries? No, we haven't gotten them in yet. <laughs> yeah. And here's the menu for it, which is kind of, kind of the same format as the Super NES version. <coughs> and assign skills here when we learn them. There's our inventory of items. <coughs> our equips. Everyone's got something on them. And how skills work in this game here, in, the, in this menu you get you get books that'll teach you uh, certain skills, and then as you put skill points into them, if you put your skill points into a certain combination of skills, you unlock talents, which then those talents can be used to do uh, things like heal or uh, create items or do some other extra things or even give you more EXP or something like that. And then the item creation and specialty are how you use them. There's the stats. See the usual, the usual RPG offerings, along with a little portrait. You can also change the name of your character here too, if you, if you care to.
You can even change the name of your party members as well. <laughs> and there's other settings. Actually, I want to change that window color. Yes, it really does go that slow. I'm going to crank it all up to blue. Get rid of that green as well. There. Keep the camera permit position on that. Oh, that's the button assignment. Equip wizard pretty much just allows you to not worry about having to equip things on people. Game will do it for you. And then tactics allows you to modify how how people how the people in your party do things. Because you you we control Roddick at the beginning of a fight, while everyone else is AI controlled. But, we can, but I'm pretty sure you can also move focus on who you can control during battle. And you can only have four people on a team and you can do their format. Their lineup in the fight. save outside of a town or at certain save points in the game so we can't we can't do our save just yet we gotta actually play through this until we can leave the town <coughs> this is Roddick's house now nah, we don't need to rest we're good After we did all that exploring, we just now have to head back to the defense HQ because these three people are uh, are the town's defense. Oh, what's that? And suddenly, the, the suddenly the town is accosted by bandits. play out. They're, uh, they're kind of action-y. You control your character freely and then just spam A to do your attacks. Boy, they were weak. Get some blueberries out of that. Pathetic. 
Letting a couple of brats step all over it? Just wait till I show them! We aren't just any brats, I'll have you know. We're the official town defense force. And we're not about to let some punk swagger in here with this pack of gutless losers. Yeah, you guys wouldn't last two minutes in a fight. What? What did you say? You heard him. Let's get him, boss. We got trouble. Be careful, everyone. Don't worry, the fights get more difficult <laughs> later on. Thanks a lot, guys. Just doing our job, sir. Ooh, <laughs> how suave of you. <laughs> that night. I made some tea for you. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. Those bandits hardly even put up a fight. What are you talking about? That was a pretty close call and you know it. Something wrong, Roddick? You look a little off. Oh, he's just been moping around all the time lately. <clears throat> well, see you later. Yeah. Hope you feel better tomorrow, Roddick. Thanks again, ma'am. Oh, certainly. Come back anytime. Being bored's a good thing, huh? Can be in some cases. I thought you were still sleeping. Did you have trouble falling asleep? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been acting kind of strange lately. I don't want Millie and Dorn having to worry about you. Not too late for that. Like how he just blatantly ignores his mom. Oh, so much, mom. I'll be back later. I thought he just simply walked out. <laughs> Head back to the HQ. Good morning, Roddick. Dorn already went inside. Hey, Roddick, the captain's waiting for you. Oh boy, the captain's here. <laughs> Oh, I just skipped that. The townspeople wanted me to give this to you. Here, take it. Nice. Five blueberries. <laughs> and some twice cooked pork. What the? Hey, this is Ronick's favorite food. Why does he get special treatment? Because he's kind of sort of the leader. <laughs> it came from a fan of Ronick's. Uh, that's all I know. <laughs> Well, regardless, keep up the good work, all of you. It's not like we get stuff like we had yesterday very often. Oh, I skipped that dialogue as well. <laughs> I'm too used to just pressing A button to make Don't all the things quickly down. go. <laughs> There, now we get now we can step outside, I think. We can also buy a couple things. Which I think we can buy a couple things. No, he's He still refuses to sell things. <coughs> As does she. She just still mentions about 
fresh veg vegetables. Let's see if we can head over to Cool, which is the next town over, and then there's the overworld section where we can actually save. Now, in the Super NES version, it was never this big, huge map that you can move the camera around and whatnot. They were they were actually segmented uh, areas. Of course, we'll run into random encounters here and all that jazz, <laughs> such as the very bandits that we just beat up. Getting her. That one was way too fast. just learned a skill that we can now assign to the L or R buttons. Shockwave Swirl. Just does a 360 degree arc. their light necklace. <clears throat> he just, just stole that old man's life savings. here now that I realize it. I'm supposed to talk to someone back in uh, back in that first town. That they were.
quick rest. Sec here, there we go. Let's just double checking something. I just realized there's a dedicated run button. There's literally three walking speeds in this game. If, if you hold B, you, you move that slowly. And then without B, you just you move like that. And then if you hold ZR, then you're this fast. <laughs> voice act that part. So what do we do? Oh, we go to Cool Village. We go help them out. That's what. Exactly, Dorn. The herbs that grow on the peak of Mount Matarx ought to do the trick. Wait. Father. Leave this matter to me. Matarx, will you go on our behalf? Yes, I don't think we have much to worry about with this mystery outbreak. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, if the best healer in all of Kratis is on the job, it'd be a tremendous relief to all of us. I'll be back in a little while, all right? Stay away from Mount Maytox. It's too dangerous for you. Things up. Come on, guys, lighten up a bit. Millie, I know how you feel, but Roddick, you've been acting weird lately. What's wrong? You can tell us. <laughs> <sighs> Two days later, gone just like that. You're not going, all right? He said he'd call us if he needed us. I like how their voices are muffled because we're hearing them from behind the door. Sit around and wait anymore. Roddick. What's it say? A powerful disease has struck cool. My methods are powerless against it, and even worse. I'm afraid I've contracted the disease myself. Casual skin contact is enough to spread the illness. It incubates for about an hour, but after it develops, the infected turn into stone in about three days' time. Oh dear. There is no hope for Cool. 
Do not approach it under any circumstances. Martoth, Kliet. Millie! And of course, Millie runs off in the direction of Cool. She's gonna head for Cool all by herself. We've gotta stop her. Yeah, now we head to Cool. <laughs> skill points just yet because we don't have any skills. What's wrong, Dorn? Nothing. It's nothing. No, no, don't trip on the bridge. said that. As you can see, everyone's most of the town's already still in the stone. Stay away from me. No matter what you do, don't touch me. Father. I am done for, Millie. And you won't let me sit by your side, Father? I can't even hold your hand. <laughs> How can something like this happen? Radic, Dawn, can you take my daughter back to town for me? Millie, let's go. Millie! I'm sorry, guys. Wait. Dorn? Planning to go off by yourself? Uh. You're going to pick some herbs off the peak of Mount Matorx, aren't you? Doesn't take a genius to see what you're thinking. And Dorn's not exactly a genius. But listen, you can't go into that hornet's nest. Not by yourself. It's actually a mountain. I'm sorry. Come on, quit pouting. <laughs> huh? It'll be okay. Your dad'll be fine once we get those herbs. Yeah. But... This is terrible. I can't stand seeing you sad like this. Dorn? Millie, I want you to know something. I... I... He's gay. No, oh, he's feeling sick, actually. Dorn? Dorn, what's wrong? Are you alright? Get away from me! N no sorry. I'm fine. It's nothing. Sure it is. Just give me a sec. Just double-checking something. Someone. 
<laughs> Dorn just collapsed. Uh, every time something comes up, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Rotic. Rotic. Oh, boo hoo, Dorn. Up so late, Millie. Yeah, we can't do anything else except go to Dorn. Are you all right? Huh? What do you mean? You, but I just saw you. Stop jumping to conclusions. I was just a little lightheaded. That's all. I told you it was nothing. Roddick, don't you think we ought to go pick some herbs at the peak of Mount Maytorx? Oh, skip oh, that. Uh, yeah. Maytorx lies due north of Cool. We'll need to watch ourselves. You said it. That's Fellworm territory up there. I go straight to me, Torx. <laughs> see, there's a day-night cycle of some sort. Is now a stone statue. <laughs> in the SNES version, the kids were in, were, were uh, inside the bed. Was Molly's dad still kicking? Doesn't say much, though. Let's go. Here they come. Shockwave swirl. Yeah. Me Torx. <coughs> again, the, mo the enemies here are mostly fell worms who who like to lay their eggs on you if they get close enough. And that's one of them right there. We got trouble. This looks bad. Shockwave swirl! That was way too that fast. Was easy.
We actually don't have to worry about the eggs. <laughs> Oh, careful, sneak man. attack. Got ambushed. More fell worms. <laughs> Last again. All right. Don't touch me. What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. And then a realization. You didn't catch the. I must have caught it when I touched that carrier pigeon. What's going on with my sound now all of a sudden? What are we doing here? Oh dear, I think my sound's no longer working. Give me a sec here. Did I mute it? Uh oh. That's not good. I'm not getting desktop audio anymore. Even this is happening at such low viewers. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Just had to change the the default uh, sound source. I'm sorry, but I'm fine, really. Besides, those herbs will cure me anyway, right? 
Let's get moving. Rose hit. Now we get a cutscene. There's the flower that we need. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> my name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh -huh. <laughs> before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. You already said that, Ilya. Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain, that's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. How... who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner then? Yeah. We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Beyond the sky? Another planet? Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except without the tails. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Lazonia, a force opposing our own, broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. I, I can't believe this! We've been sent here to examine the disease and try to find a treatment for it. So you see, we've come here to help you. Probably in ways you've never imagined. I still 
still can't believe any of this. But can you really help with the cure? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? Um, a miracle medicine, sort of. Well then, there's something you ought to know before we go any further. If you folks decide to come with us, you'll probably never see this planet again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. Oh, that's a shame. That's another part of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Mm, screw the pact then. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever, or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn. Millie, let's go with Dorn too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Indeed. <clears throat> well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? And then they get teleported. What was that? Where are we? This is our ship. You really are gods. <laughs> We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you, that's all. You can have all this for yourselves, too, someday. <sighs> well, let's get him over to sickbay. The floor! It's moving! <clears throat> and that door back there opened by itself! Incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Of course not. I just realized, I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferentz. I'm Millie Cliet. Dorn... Uh, Myrtle... Uh. Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry, then. What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show him around for me. Okay. <laughs> Dumps it on her. Captain. Oh, brother. Let's explore the ship a little bit. a safe spot that we can actually use. We actually have to touch it. Yeah, now we 
to explore a futuristic spaceship. first. <laughs> Within a 100,000 mile radius. And there's the other name drop. Beyond that door lies an ocean of stars, a world with no air. <coughs> he, he's casually studying astrophysics. Good on him. Are your tails real? Yes, very real. Isn't it difficult to move around without a tail? <laughs> SNES version, it's these guys actually attack in the teleporter room. Millie learned a couple things. <laughs> it's gone. Huh? No, it isn't. See? It's right here! You can still see it? The moment your blood touched it, it disappeared. Ilya, take Roddick and Millie to sick bay. I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Wait, where did that come from just now? We have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to sick bay. I'll get someone to clean up this mess. Is he cured? I don't know yet. Well, how is he? Don't be in such a hurry there, miss. The doctor's just getting to that. Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated and analyzed the pathogen behind the disease. I'm afraid curing this illness is something that's beyond the ability of Earth medical science. Oh, but you've got all these amazing things! Can't you do something? Anything? The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is... An impossible task, young lady. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. 
There is one possible method, however. Judging by the pathogen structure, I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host, the original carrier of the disease, we could use the host's blood to create an immunity serum. So that'll work. I mean, would that work, sir? I believe so. But he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact, even after the petrification process is complete. If we could just procure that serum, our patient should be able to make a full recovery. Well, that's something to work with anyway. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazonia is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder, why did they even use this bioweapon on Planet Roke in the first place? Roke? The name we've given your homeworld. I just realized that uh, OBS Studio uh, changed up their noise suppression codec. So I just switched it. <laughs> oh, and so far I'm already liking it. It's, it's only picking up my voice now. Hopefully the quality sounds better. But Ely is right. I don't see how Lazonia benefits at all from turning everyone on Roke into stone. Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic muscular and nervous systems are highly similar to humans, but there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. What are you getting at, Elio? This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. That would explain the motive behind dropping this bioweapon on their planet. Yeah, they're going to turn all of them into stone and then extract the copper out of them and then sell the copper. What kind of benefit? Some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. Something that wouldn't even show up on our sensors. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Exactly. Well, we can't say that for sure yet. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. If that's the case, then they must be removing the petrified bodies from Roke. Let's check that prospect out first. I'll be on the bridge. Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combinations. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Very well. This is what I get for whining about how boring every day was. What are you talking about? You know this isn't your fault. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at me. If I just had more power, then maybe I could have done something. The captain wants you on the bridge. You can take the elevator to get there. Thank you. Ah, 
There you are. Elia has news for you. If you haven't realized that up to this point, it's mostly been story. <laughs> we compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous figures. The number's gone down by about 200,000. How did they take all of them off the planet without us noticing? So it's true. We're not yet sure if they're building a weapon. It sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating with us in good faith. I'd like all of you to come with us and participate in the reports. Captain, Dorn's condition is worsening. I'll be right there. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. I'm afraid he's in critical condition. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die, I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> Please. All right. Get the transporter ready. Yes, sir. Please, let us go back with Dorn. I don't know. We'll come back. We promise. All right. I'll have Elia accompany you then. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doctor. This is a precision maneuver. Don't mess it up. Yeah, if he, if he ends up in someone else's bed, then the whole mission has failed. Yes, sir. When you're ready, Ilya. Yes, Captain. Listen, there was something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't say that. You'll just be sleeping for a little while. Get the music box on that shelf for me. I'm giving that to you, Millie. But this is your sister's. I can't take this. Take it, please. There, it's now stone. It's all right. I swear we'll save you. I know this is hard, but we've got to go. He needs your help. Right. We'll be beginning our trip to planet Earth shortly. There's a room set up for you, so feel free to get some rest. Thank you. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one, Mark 269, Warp 6. Look, Millie. It's magnificent. Beautiful. It's like an ocean of stars. That name drop again. We're now entering orbit to report to the Terran Alliance HQ. Something's coming right for us! What? What is that? Where? What are you talking about? from did it warp in or what well, those two saw it before you guys did i don't think so captain we did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand i told you it was coming you two were able to see it roddick that's it it's 
made of invisible matter. The entire ship? Captain, the unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. Open the channel. We come as emissaries from Lazonia. We have no desire to fight. Repeat. So, you're saying that Lazonia wants to sign an armistice with us? That is correct. We were not willing participants in the war against Earth. The rumors of a third party working in the shadows of Lazonia were true then. A third party? Yes, they had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. They were the ones responsible for the destruction of planet Issei half a year earlier. Which is the planet that we saw blow, get blown up at the very first cutscene. We have little idea what their goals are. But they have provided us with a wealth of new technology, including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped on planet Roke, we'd like you to provide us with either a vaccine or the original host of the disease, if you could. I'm afraid we cannot. We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Roke 300 years ago. Asmodeus? That's the Archfiend! The monster that was defeated in the Demonic Wars! The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No! There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the Planet Rogue. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. What the hell with that? done so much traveled all this way to help out our friends and now what are we supposed to do who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago and just held it in storage all this time there's no chance of finding the host now the Alliance has decided to seal off Roke forever there's nothing we can do but apologize I'm so, so sorry. There is one chance. It's just extremely unlikely it will actually work. You... You aren't actually suggesting we head for Planet Styx, are you? I should have known you'd bring that place up. You'd have to be crazy to suggest that. I'll find a way to get us a ship. But, sir, there's still another option? Well, I hesitate to call it that, but if we use the time gate on Planet Styx, there's a small chance. But, Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us. We've got to know. When do we get to play the game? I didn't hear any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. Right. Close the entry hatch. Are two people enough for this? Oh, yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer? Yeah. Um, how to explain it? Basically, uh, they're these tools that help people out with the difficult parts of their jobs. Like playing video games. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. 
You do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. <laughs> seems, seems so happy about that. All the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Sticks. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, all right? Too late. What is Planet Sticks anyway? It's a planet, just like Earth or Rogue. We stumbled upon it during an earlier deep space exploration mission. They say that Planet Styx was home to a vastly advanced civilization long before we humans even made it into space. Actually, we know next to nothing about them. And that's where that time thing is? The Time Gate. We'll use it to visit Roke in the past. The past? Oh, so if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? In so many words, yes. But we still haven't fully unraveled how the time gate works. It's too dangerous to mess with, so it's been made strictly off limits. We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Styx shortly. Right. Will it let us in, though? The Time Gate Guardian. The Living Gate. According to the Lazonian Emissaries, a mysterious third party obtained the virus on Rook. Apparently, it all happened several hundred years ago. That it did. The level of technology they have must outclass anything we could even imagine. We'll have to travel through time to a point before they visited Roke and collect a portion of the host's body. Assuming, of course, the gate will let us through in the first place. Oh, Guardian of the Time Gate, please lend an ear to our humble request. We seek your guidance to the world of 300 years past. We wish to visit Roke, as it was in olden times. I am the Gatekeeper. Your request has been granted. Let us open the Gate to the Past. We did it. We need to leave our weapons and communicators here before we enter. Bring them along, you'll bounce off the gate. Well, here we go. I hope that we're not making a mistake by entering the gate, because once we go inside, there's no turning back. Right, here we go. <gasps> Just hang tight, Dorn! We're gonna save you, but you gotta hang on! Okay. <sighs> Erotic. Are you sure you're all right? We must hurry. The gate is... <laughs> Thanks to that little trip. <laughs> they get separated. Are you all right, Ilya? Yeah, I'm fine. Where is everyone else? I don't see them anywhere. They should be around here. 
Maybe. Then again, me tripping back there threw off our timing pretty badly. There's a chance we're a good distance away from each other. Well, we picked a good place to appear. Let's go look for them in this village first. Hang on. I, I just realized this outfit probably isn't gonna work here. You're right. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find something for you. Sorry for the trouble, but imagine what the captain must be going through. <laughs> well, good luck then. She's gonna go hide in the bushes. There, now we actually get to play the game again. I think there are other ways to get clothing. I could be wrong, though. Four twenty. <laughs> Oh, now we got some clothing for free. Oh, Figured they'd be in key items. Couple things we can equip right now. We can equip up to two accessories. Ilya, I've got your clothes. Here you go. Thanks. No peeking now. Of course, her sprite hmm. doesn't change. I'm sorry to complain, but this is just too small. Uh, well, I'll just go like this then. Oh, are you sure? Well, there's nothing else I can do. I can't change back into what I had on earlier. Let's hurry. We need to stock up on supplies and rendezvous with the captain. I'm not really sure what just happened here. <laughs> the clothes are too small. That's what happened. On my off-stream playthrough, I bought, I did buy the clothes from the store, and Ilya complained that it was uh, too small around the chest area. Where in the Super NES version, she's just happy with whatever clothes you give her. <laughs> Do some shopping. 
if, if we have the appraising skill, these uh, spectacles can help ID items. Or, no, they can identify data on enemies and are used for appraising. So we got a blackberry and a couple of aqua berries. Another neat feature that uh, Star Ocean does is that when you get outside to a town, you can do what, what so shows in the upper right called a private action, and it just basically triggers a cutscene. Just a little cutscene, and then you can see your party chilling out in the town in question. Was there a postal system on Roke 300 years ago? We used carrier pigeons to transport messages back and forth in my time. Well, not just pigeons. People used other animals, too? Yes, such as... <laughs> Sorry. I remember Millie tried to use a cat one time. I don't know why. I guess she really loves cats. How did that go? Terrible. The cat went missing for a few days, and we never did find out what happened to that letter. It doesn't take a genius to figure that what happened. But then again, she's kind of loopy that way sometimes. Aw, it would have been nice if it worked. What? You want a carrier cat? Meanwhile... Hmm, that's weird. What? feeling that someone's talking about me behind my back. Oh well, never mind. We need to find a town, don't we? Oh, right. Yeah. I know you've got your symbology or whatever, but I'm totally defenseless here, with no equipment, no weapons, nothing. Don't worry. I'll help you pick out something to impress the ladies once we find a town. Uh... <laughs> thanks. Ah, oh, damn, Millie. Having trouble trying to exit that area. Oh, well, not much we do here. We already did the little cutscene that triggers from the private action, so. <coughs> uh, what's my time at? save and I think I will end the stream at this point uh, there will be a stream tomorrow uh, expect some Animal Crossing New Horizons where I'll check out some some things that should start in the uh, fall update that was released yesterday and I'll probably continue on in some Star Ocean uh, first departure as well so, until then, thank you all for watching, hope you all have a good night, and I hope to see you all uh, tomorrow.